One statement of Paul which I think is important. It really summarizes what I'm saying. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 20. For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. It's not a matter of theology. And theology has its place. It's not a matter of argument. It's not a matter of intellectual proof. It's the demonstration of the supernatural power of God. I'd like to look at the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, just one, two chapters back. The first five verses. 1 Corinthians 2, 1 through 5. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. <coughs> For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. You remember what we said about Galatians chapter 3? What does witchcraft obscure in the church? Jesus Christ crucified. Paul said, that's all I'm going to be interested in. Jesus Christ crucified. I, I was preaching just recently to a congregation which contained a large number of Jews in Jerusalem. And I pointed out to them that really the thing which is supremely esteemed amongst the Jewish people generally is knowledge. And here's a Jew who says, I determine not to know anything. <laughs> That's very unusual. Except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Why? Paul says, I was with you in weakness, in fear, and much trembling. He wasn't an impressive speaker by any means. My speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, and of power. That was Paul's secret. Why did the Holy Spirit testify to his ministry with power? Because he focused on Jesus Christ crucified. You can bring all sorts of elegant sermons and theories and quote all sorts of doctors and people. The Holy Spirit is just bored. But when you begin to lift up Jesus, crucified, he says, I'll bear testimony to that. And I believe that is the primary need of the church today, especially here. When we're de in this country today, we're surrounded by Muslims. Do you realize that? Millions of Muslims. And there's nothing going to reach the Muslim mind but the demonstration of the supernatural. And we have an opportunity. Instead of having to go to them, they've come to us. We couldn't go to their nations and proclaim the gospel because we'd be put in prison or executed. But God has arranged for them to come here. What's the church doing about it? It's time the church rose up said, we will demonstrate to them that Jesus is alive. As I say sometimes, there's no extra charge for that. It isn't in my outline, but it happens to be true. <laughs>